think, um, sorry, my voice is going. <laughs> I think um, I've been so grateful to win so many medals <laughs> and be so dominant and have such performances that maybe the first man to go 57, first man to go 56. But I'm so happy to be here with this medal tonight because it's challenged me in a thousand ways, a thousand ways to be here. And I think anyone that's listening to this, even down here or maybe you next to me have children that someone that's next gonna be amazingly blessed to have very soon, that your whole perspective on life changes. My responsibilities have changed so much in the last three years because of my son, and I don't regret one single day. And for me, I gave out my performance with the, the cards I've been dealt. And, you know, it could have gone another way. It could have gone 0 0.01 slower, it could have been a bronze. Could have got four, if I was just a fingernail behind that. It could have gone 0 0.2, slow, uh, 0 0.002. 0 and I could have been, you know, with Nicola, so. But it's, uh, I'm not going to define my whole career in the terms of the ups and the downs by a medal. Uh, I'm just so happy to be um, among these uh, incredible athletes, incredible performers. And um, I think the race I was in with Arno and Sheen in that last 15 metres, I felt like I had it, but that's sport. And I think it's going to throw you up and down. And we've all been through it. And uh, I'm just... I'm just happy that I got the win and uh, it went to an incredible guy and it, someone has won it a fair way. I have a grin on my face because I've you know, seen 2012 uh, with Cameron winning it, set myself for the goal of beating him at Commonwealth, which I did in 2014, and that was 10 years ago. <laughs> I said earlier, if you took the top eight or top 16 in any event, how many of a of them are still meddling now from 10 years ago. Um, and I've been so happy that, you know, the world records that I've been able to set, hopefully they last quite a while, but hopefully these boys can also challenge it. Um, and it's a true pleasure, it's true joy to walk out there and uh, put myself on the line because, yes, we see bronze, silver, gold as something that's gratifiable, but everyone in that race who is fair that, they all win because not anyone, well, 9.999% of people don't want to put themselves in that situation. So these are the true gladiators and these are the people who, you know, I'm so happy for you tomorrow morning because you get to look at that gold medal because I know how that feels in my heart. And uh, again, it couldn't have gone to a better guy and uh, it's just a great race as well with, with Nick. So yeah, obviously a lot to debrief on trying to get back to full health now and uh, see what we can do on the relays. But uh, I gave my absolute best and that is it. I think uh, in the car some days when you have bad days, you have good days. And my son asked me, Daddy, are you the fastest boy in the world? And I, I'm like, I sure hope so. <laughs> but not today, not today. And I really truly believe this moment was meant to be because in my heart, I'm so happy. And yeah, I mean, there's so much to debrief on with the team as well. Uh, of what went right, what didn't go so well. Did I get caught up in the battle between the two people next to me? Possibly, but all variants of a thousand variants lead to the same result and the same feeling in my heart that I couldn't have given more. So I did it, you know, for my son. Um, and this whole 14 months has been to show that you can literally be at the bottom of the bottom and try and find a way through and try and meddle from someone who has been so grateful to be and do what I've done and not taken away from this moment at, at, any, at any point. But it's, I'm just so happy that I can race these boys and, uh, you know, still put on a, hopefully a good show for everyone else. And uh, it took every fiber in my body to be here uh, because some days I didn't want to be. And that's not just in sport, I think when I make that contract to myself that these boys take every day and a lot of athletes take every day that I said that I'd give them my absolute best and I give them my absolute best and there's no regrets. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of thinking to be done, but we've got five days, six days now to recover. As I said, get back to full health and look forward to the relays and race these boys again. And it's been a strange one um, in terms of times, 
but it just shows Olympics is never about times, right? It's about the races and being 100% on the day. And uh, I'm just so, so happy that, honest, honestly, in my true heart, that uh, Nicolo can, I'm actually tearing because I know how it feels to win gold the next day and look at that and be so proud and have that to uh, gratify that whole journey because I know how hard it is.